This is a caveman spear, and this is a modern spear. We're gonna be hunting, fishing, and trapping to see if modern techniques are really that much better than caveman techniques. But we actually have to wait till nighttime to hunt frogs, so we're gonna get a little bit of practice in and test out these spears that we're gonna be using later in this video to get our frogs. So before we take these out and try them in real life scenarios, we're gonna put these to the test. So we picked up a few different things from Walmart, including this watermelon and some things we're gonna to get to, and we're gonna see just how much damage these things can do to these fruits and vegetables. And plus, give ourselves a little bit of practice. Oh God, James, that goes a frog, son. Oh, he is moving. Which one should we try first? Go primitive? All right, here we go. And if you're wondering where we got our primitive caveman spear, we actually made that in our last video. We literally just cut down a tree and made it into a spear, just like pretty much a caveman would. Cue the intense music. Ready? Here we go. Ah! I split that frog in two, bro. Mm, I actually don't like watermelon. Oh! Dead eye, brother. Getting a frog is actually gonna be a lot tougher than these watermelons, but I'm pretty impressed that I hit that. So let's try the modern. Let's see what it can do. Let's try it. Bro, I think he's gone. He was moving. Well, that watermelon's going over to check on his buddy. No, he ain't either. He just kept going. <laughs> he seen what was going on. He said, I'm out. Now we're running this gig right here. I don't think that this thing will cause the explosion this one caused, but it will definitely penetrate better. And we're all about penetration here. This one actually extends, so I don't have to get as close. You ready? Ready? Oh. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, so you can already see. This thing is much more stealthy. You're not gonna take out a frog and then all of his buddy within a two mile radius know about it. But there's one thing about it. Frogs will not be this easy to target. Frogs are about that big compared to a watermelon, which is probably that big. Let's downsize our presentation and let's see how we do then. Up next, we have some oranges. Look at that, just a little colony of oranges. Oh, I got him. Got him, James. Might have to blur that one out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Vein juice coming out everywhere. So this one's gonna be a lot prettier than the other one. Let's try out the primitive. How's my technique looking on that, James? The other one you had, like, you know, you knocked on the door. This one, you got a battering ram. Should I try to spear this one first? Oh, oh. You missed. You I'm miss telling you, it's harder. That? How'd you miss it? It's harder. Oh, man, it's because it curves a little. You see the curve? We're gonna have to sharpen up the edge of this spear, probably get some fruit out of it, but I think this will work to kill a frog. But will it do as well as the modern gig? Well, we gotta find that out. So now that we got much needed practice in with our spears, we still have some time left in the day. And another caveman method we're wanting to try out is using a primitive fish trap. Now, obviously cavemen didn't have fancy traps like we have today, and this trap is far from fancy, but we're gonna put it to the test for ourselves. This right here is a primitive fish trap. Now, it isn't complete. We're getting ready to do that here in a second and you'll see how it all comes together. But this thing is pretty cool. It's a pretty cool concept. We're not going to put this up against a modern style trap in this video because we know modern minor traps, fish traps that we've done on the channel before. We know they work really well. So there's no sense in trying those. But we are going to put this one to the test. And I want to say shout out to Flair for using this. We got this idea from him. So total credit to that guy. But we're going to see if it works for us. And here's the setup. So we have a piece of paracord that we have put into this Mountain Dew bottle. We just used a drill to drill holes in it. This is pretty much going to act like a little bite indicator and we're gonna start tying this up and down this stick we're kind of guesstimating as to where we need these bottles right now we left ourselves plenty of line on it maybe about like that right there we're pretty much just going to do this all the way up here with about five Mountain Dew bottles and then we'll show you how we're actually going to hook the fish all right and right here is the setup we have four Mountain Dew bottles we didn't really have enough room for five now for the most important part the hook right here on the lid we have drilled two holes and we have used a pre-rigged hook just slipped right through those holes kind of like a Palomar knot type of situation and we're just gonna take this lid and we're we're gonna slide it right on there just like that. And there, we have it completely rigged up. We got hooks on all of these. So when a fish gets on here, this sucker's just gonna start going off. You're gonna see this Mountain Dew bottle from a long ways away. Now, is this truly primitive? Cavemen probably didn't have Mountain Dew bottles, but there's some things that you can use in nature that will float. This is more of like a minimalist type trap. But cavemen, they had rocks, tools, stuff like that. I think this should qualify. We've got a small bit of worm on all four of these bottles. Now, we just gotta set them out in the pond and let's see if this thing actually works. I'm seeing a ton of fish down here. I just spooked a big old fish over here. If we got something big on this, that'd be crazy. I think that's perfect. We've got her shoved in the ground. Now, we just gotta wait on some fish to show up, eat our bait. Now when we roll up, we'll be able to easily see do we have something on these bottles. Hopefully the bottles just be going crazy. And the biggest thing, hopefully they don't get tangled up. If we catch a big enough fish, I could just see them taking the whole thing. So hopefully it's still there when we get back. So now that we have our caveman fish trap out, now we're moving on to conventional style fishing. And pretty much what we're gonna be using is just a stick that we got from Walmart. Did cavemen have Walmart? Probably not but 
they had sticks. So right here's a cane pole. Oddly enough, we got this from Walmart, but it's the equivalent of us going out here and just picking a stick out of the woods and using that. This is actually bamboo and it conveniently comes with this line and a little float. We're gonna to try to catch a few different fish with this, including the bait for a bigger fish that we're going for here just in a minute. Okay, we got the two different pieces. I think they go together right here, just like that. Brother, you can just drop right on their face with that. You know what I mean? Find a nice brush pile. So there's gonna be some bending in this rod, we hope. I've never used one of these. Pretty excited about it. Now you're not gonna be boat flipping anything with that. No, absolutely not. Hand jobs only. There, it got it rigged up. Don't they, John? How much line do we got? That's the real question. That's gonna be the problem. Do we have enough line to catch what we're going for? They give you a good little bit of line in there. It's quite a bit. We're gonna tie it up right here at the end of the pole. Look there, what a little tiny hook. Now that probably will do for catching the bait, but that is not gonna hook the fish that we're getting ready to go after here in a few minutes. And the bait of choice is none other but a worm. That'll catch most things. Bring that up. Now she's rigged up and ready. Let's get her in the water. So there's no casting with this thing. There is no reel. You just kinda gotta flip it out there but not too shabby, huh? Let's see if we can catch something. It's gonna be a fun time if we oh, do. Wait. Oh, oh, First that was quick. It's, a, it's bass. a bass. It's a bass. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, he come off. Brother, that was first cast. Let's freaking go. All right. That is a beautiful spotted bass. You know what? I believe this might be a mean mouth bass, which are a little more rare. First cast with a little bamboo cane pole. Now, unfortunately we cannot use him as bait. That is correct. Or we would probably go to jail. That was pretty fun. We're gonna get this guy back. There he goes. The big thing with this cane pole is line management. You have nowhere to like put your line while you're moving from spot A to spot B. That does kind of suck. Hey, back in the day when this is all you had, I mean, this was it, you know? It's all you had, bro. Or if I can like slingshot this. No, sir. Guys, this is taking a little while. No, this is like probably like a YouTube 10 seconds. Well, we've been here for hours. I think I've got one on here. Oh. Oh, there he is. I got him. Oh, I got him. I got him. I can't I can't get him to come. Oh, get him. Here he Let's, is. Go. Let's go. Finally, we got him, son. It's a little sunfish. It's a little sunfish, but you know what? That's bait. Yeah, it is. That's exactly what that's about to be. That took way longer than it probably should have, but we're going to change this hook out. Probably put a little bit heavier duty line on this, and we're going to put a circle hook through this guy. So what I'm going to do is actually remove these spines, because catfish and stuff like that do not like spines when they're eating a bait. Or maybe even a bass. We're not catch a big bass. You never do know. But either way, we're just taking these off because we don't want anything to inhibit our hook from getting in a fish's mouth. All right, so what I want to do is take some of this line off of one of these reels, and this should be about probably 15 pound line. Hopefully it's going to be enough to catch what we're going for because there's some big catfish that live in this lake. All right, right here's the bait. Here's the hook. Maybe a little smaller than what we want. We're just going to hook him right underneath the backbone. That way he can swim around. and drop this guy right here. We may just fire up the boat and take him out in the middle and then come back. Cause we can't cast it. We got too much line on here. Okay, we're gonna have to troll him out. Give him a little Uber ride. All right, we got the fish way out there in the middle. Now we just sit here and wait. That's pretty much like a circle hook. So I think the fish will probably set the hook on itself when it starts swimming. We just gotta make sure to fight him. Put this old rod to the test. Fast forward till we get a bite. So we didn't really catch much with our primitive caveman setup, but we're gonna revisit that a little later in this video to see if we can make it happen. Instead, now we're heading to another lake and we're using some of the most advanced technology that you can use in fishing. Will it be that much better than our caveman methods? Let's find out. All right guys, we have made it out to the lake here. I have the most modern setup that you could potentially have. That is a bait casting reel and this nice bait casting rod. I guess that's what you call it, casting setup. We're gonna be using all this stuff, not to mention our fancy spot lock trolling motor, our fancy Fancy boat, and I was gonna say live scope, but we actually forgot the live scope at home. But I still think we're gonna be able to catch one probably with this modern setup. Let's see what we get. And we got Big Daddy James back here. He's pretty much running the same gig. And then we got Zach back there. He's running something similar. Let's see if we can get one. Oh, oh, no, I got a fish. I've got a fish, boys. Look at this, a little spotted bass. Well, there you go. Modern, baby. That's what I'm talking about, James. That modern will do it. Brother, he's dropped a deuce all over you too. Oh, great. Are we gonna get this guy back? We are going to try to get one bigger than that, though. It's a white bass, brother. Is that a white? That's a giant. Yeah, that's a white. Yeah, just lay out some line, and I'm going to try to grab it. It's a white bass. It's a giant. It's a hybrid. It's a hybrid. He's barely Woohoo! He ate this thing at the boat. We don't have a net. Get him in the boat! Yeah! Let's go! We didn't get that on GoPro because the battery's designed. On the modern, dude. The whole modern setup, that dude. That modern, don't Let's it. freaking go. There we go, baby. Barely hooked, man. That's a nice fish, that's brother. That's a nice little hybrid. That's, that's my PB. Oh, there you go. Oh! Oh, good one. Good one, good one, good one, good one. We hooked up again. That's a smallmouth. I can't tell if I got him hooked in the side. Modern thing. Oh, no, 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 no,
Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. I don't know. Looking real nice right now. <laughs> oh, that's a decent smiley. Yeah, let's go. Get him in here. That's a good smiley, brother. There he is, baby. Right there, baby. That's a nice, beautiful smiley. There she goes. So up to this point, modern fishing technology really has the caveman methods beat. But we're gonna give it one last try and we're going to a pond that I know is loaded with fish. And I'll be honest, if the cane pole can't catch something here, then that's just a brutal loss for all the cavemen in the world. So one thing you'll notice here, and I think we actually stuck it back in, this little insert is pretty much done for. So what we're gonna have to do is just tie this directly to the rod. Tim's braid, 150, oh, 80 pound. Heck yeah, well if 80 pound don't do it, if it we, gonna be done. we get 80 pound catfish on this, this sucker's gonna break before the line, that's guaranteed. Let me get this hook tied on. We've been trying to catch a catfish on this rod. We've caught a bass actually, but we just need a cat. This right here is what we're gonna be using. A little piece of catfish bait right here. All right, we got the head on there. Now we gotta get this put out in the middle of the lake. There's a turtle right out here. This dead probably right here. I'll get ready to drop it. And there she goes. All right, we're set. That right there will hopefully catch us a catfish. So if you haven't figured it out by now, modern technology is definitely the way to go if you're going fishing. Cavemen, shout out to you guys, because if y'all caught fish, it's impressive, bro. But now night has fallen, and it's time to move on to the grand prize. We're going for frogs, baby. All right, we're out here. I can hear the frogs. That's what we're going for. But right here is the gig. I think it will be a little challenging to get some frogs. This is caveman style, baby. All right, so now we're going super stealth mode, being super quiet. I'm gonna get really close to these frogs, because, well, I got a crooked stick. Go we'll see if we can find them. So we we spent a few hours out here looking for frogs and we actually seen quite a few frogs. The problem is they were too far from the bank for us to get them with our primitive spear. But even though Mother Nature was kind of kicking us in the shin with the whole frog thing, then she gave us a little nugget. There's hunting and then there's gathering. A little gift. A little, a little nugget. A blackberry bush. Now most of these are not ripe yet. You can kind of see that. But this is very much so surviving like a caveman. We're gonna pick the one ripe one here. Actually, we're gonna come back at some point and probably get us enough of these to make a blackberry cobbler. Look at that little nugget. Mm-mm-mm. Here we go, going in. Mm-mm-mm. But we need a frog, dadgummit. Let's see if we can get one. Number one, we just can't find frogs. It's harder to get them from the bank. Even though Mother Nature did give us a random mulberry, the next few days were followed by tornadoes, lightning, rain, and zero frogs. We're going to a new location, and we're going to be frog gigging from a boat. And even though we're primarily using the modern frog gig, we're going to have another chance using our caveman spear. The thing is, there's so much algae in this pond, it stinks. I've never really smelled a pond like that. There's a lot in here. Try to be quiet, roam this bank. So we can find a frog. As you can see, Tate is going freaking hostile. He's going freaking ninja mode right here on this frog. <laughs> Bro, I just suck. I'm the worst. <laughs> yeah, we have spotted another. I can't really see him, but he's right in there. Here we go. Get him? Brother. Got him, son. Got Stinking got him. That's right. That's what we're going there. for. Check that out. I mean, that's what we're going for. The, that's the species we're going for. It's not a giant by any means. All right, we got a mag daddy frog right there. That's him right there. He's a big one. You got him. No, you got yeah. him. You got him. That's a brute, son. Son, that is a, that. That is a frog daddy brother, right there. That's some legs. Son. <laughs> hey, one for the old modern, son. Come on. They don't take many of those dudes to fill up the skillet, brother. Oh, my goodness. That's a perfect headshot, that's dude. A perfect. All right. We are working our way down this little bank, and we have not seen anything. It has been very, very slow so far, but we're still on the lookout. Oh, he's I see him right there. Yes, 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 yes. There he is right there. You can see his eyes. That's a big one. Oh. Yeah, get him. You got him. Got you him. got him. You got him. Look at that right there, boys. That's how you do it right there. Man, you nailed him. That right there will fry up good. Oh, yeah. Man, what a shot. Modern Spear gets it done, baby. Look at our boy right here. Do you think they got one bigger than this? This is a big frog right here now. All right, we have located another one. There he is, getting ready to put the wham bam on him. All right, well, we actually lost that frog. You gotta be super stealthy. I think you, your leg hit the front of the boat or something. 
we botched that one, but there's a lot of frogs in here. So I'm feeling pretty good about this. The problem is these are so far out, I don't think we can get them with a primitive gig. I really wanted to try to get them with that, but I just don't think that's gonna happen. Unless we find them on the bank. We need like 20 frogs because that's like 40 legs. And 40 legs will feed a good bunch of people. I can break 40 legs myself, to be honest with you. So, so got this little guy. That little guy up there. We just need to get these guys some buddies. I'm kind of hungry, bro. Bro, that is a big frog right there, son. Oh, yeah. You can see their eyes. There's like three or four right up there. That's a freaking giant. Bro, hurry. He's going. He's going. He's going. He's going. Oh, my God. Did you get... Oh, it's freaking cool. Let's freaking... Son, you destroyed that guy. Let's freaking go, daddy. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Big old frog. I don't even think you fatally wounded him. I think you just skinned him. That's what we're going for. Look at them legs. Son, I'm talking about... Mm-mm-mm. I do. Nice freaking toads everywhere. Let's be real quiet. There's another one right there, dude. He come off the freaking barb. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That took way too long. <laughs> <laughs> little fry, little fist pump. Baby. We're just not been getting close enough to them is the problem, so. We can get closer than what you think. They're back in these pads, so we have to really dig through them. We're, getting, we're, we're, we're getting some legs, though. We're getting some legs. <laughs> Check it out. You got it. Freaking sniped him. Freaking sniped him, son. Freaking go, dude. There's freaking toads everywhere, dude. <laughs> yeah, you've never been frog gigging before, right? It's just been my whole point. <laughs> it's fun, life. man. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. And they're delicious, is the thing. Let's go. Let's go. You gotta be kidding me. What's that coming off, man? There you go. You got him. You got him. Got him. Let's go. It didn't hard to get. Didn't get on video, but we got him. Let's go. And look at the look at their heads. They blend in so well. The only way that we're seeing these guys is literally by shining the light and seeing their eyes. I've missed my fair share of frogs. I'm sure you guys haven't seen them all. Tyler's now missed a couple as well. So there we go. There we go. Let's get that workout in, baby. We're getting rid of the dad bods and we're going for the abs. It's time for the primitive baby. What we're about to be working for. Better whack his gizzards out of him. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no. No. God. No. Oh, man. When I hit him, it was too much. I hit him too hard. I didn't know you could hit him too hard. You beamed him. I don't know if this is going to work on a boat, man. It was like when you hit him. When I hit him, I the, pushed away from the you bank. You hit him so hard, yeah. I couldn't keep us on the bank. That was so much force. Man. It definitely, you had it. The worst part is, Buddy's got a concussion. We ain't, we ain't going to get no frog legs. He don't even know where he's swimming <laughs> he right now. He said, some guy come out of the, out of the darkness oh and just hit me God. in the head with a stick, brother. I saw the light, literally. <laughs> it, oh, it's going up underneath it. He's going to feel that shaking. Here we go, here we go, here we go. He, he's moving. See, that water's moving him. I got him lit right up. Yes, sir, brother. Baby, yes, sir. Frog gigging champions is what we are. Us camera guys, we got it made, man. He's got a big old head. Look at the legs on the guy. That right there. Gonna fry up real right. good. Right here's what we got so far, boys. We got three, three and counting. Gotta make it happen right here. You can't miss these. Can't miss these guys. Got him. Get in here, baby. Get him in the bowl. <laughs> How about that shot? One-handed, <laughs> camera in hand. All right, right here's this frog. This would have been a great one to try out the primitive one on, but we just couldn't take a chance. So we got to put some meat in the freezer, baby. We need to get that grease hot, We're going to be frying it up, <laughs> son. Nice frog. Those feet, man. These guys are going to be delicious. Looking forward to that. He's right there, brother. That's as easy as it gets right there. <laughs> Got him. Oh, you missed him? Did he come on? Oh, no. That's tragic. That's exactly what I've been doing. I don't know what kind of gig that is, but it sucks, man. That was the easiest shot yet. I've had the same type of shot, man. I don't know what's going on. We, yeah, we did. And he's sitting right but I hit there. him with a freaking bow. Got him. Got him. <laughs> don't lose him. Come on, come on, come on. Don't lose him. Put him in the tree. Don't lose him. <laughs> Look at that, boy. Yes, sir. I mean, just... Swear them out. Here, I think there's a bunch more. Right. If we want to stay here longer. <laughs> we got a good oh, old mess, man. We got a good mess. Between our other boat and our boat, we've had a pretty good night. Heck yeah. Especially be my first time. Oh yeah, for sure. Heck yeah.
<laughs> We're wearing them out on the way back. We're trying to get to the daggone house. So after a long night of gigging frogs, and gigging quite a few, might I add, it is the next morning, and it's time to check in on our primitive fish trap. Did we actually catch something? I am very anxious to find out. So let's head on over to the pond. So we have made it back to the fish trap, and well, the fish trap is not the way that we left it, which is a good thing. Whatever it is that has messed this up, it's either one, something big, or two, a bunch of little ones that teamed up and said, you know what, we're gonna wreck this trap. We're about to go find out. All right, Big Daddy, let's go down here and see what we got. I am anxious, okay? Something has happened. What is that, Isaac? Newton's fourth law or something. Something has happened. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got. Oh, go! Oh, we got, oh, we got a bluegill. We got two bluegill, baby. Let's go! They're actually decent bluegill. I can't believe this thing actually worked. Let's bring them up and look at our catch here. This one has been cleaned off. This one is actually the one that we have one on with, and this one has also been cleaned off. So we have two bluegill here, brother. That is a that's a kegger, is what that is. That that is a certified biggin. Hooked right in the mouth. Look at that, baby. That's actually probably a little bit too big for bait. We could catch Queen Cook this guy, but we're probably just gonna let this guy go. This is not really a survival video. This is just testing out caveman-ish techniques. It's this guy's lucky day, because any other time, we'd probably eat him. There you go, buddy. So we did a lot better with modern technology over caveman technology, but I will say caveman technology is more challenging and therefore is a lot more fun for me. So I definitely think we may try these tools and techniques later in another video. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you want to see us survive only with Walmart's cheapest knife, make sure to click right here. And YouTube really thinks you'd like this video, so you should go ahead and check it out. We'll see you on the next one.